Well, folks, we are just after running into Paul here, and Paul is with the Irish Dogs Trust.ie. And uh, Paul, how are you today? I'm having a great day. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it, it seems to be an absolute celebration of dogs and their owners today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're having a great day. Uh, your your dog trust. What exactly do you do? Yeah, well, Dogs Trust is Ireland's uh, biggest uh, dog welfare charity. So we do. God, what don't we do? We have, do everything dog. We obviously have a, a centre in Dublin where we keep about 150 or so dogs. Okay. We rehabilitate. We rehome them. We also have regional teams. Uh, I'm actually on the training and engagement team. So we. Do educational programs and schools and libraries. We have a dog skill for any dogs who need some training. So, uh, and then dogs just we also do campaigns to raise awareness for various things, campaigns, puppy farms. Uh, so we empower dog owners. You name it, dog, we do it. It goes on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. Um, the phenomena of dogs. How could you explain it here in Ireland, especially? Well, we've always had a big, great relationship with dogs in Ireland. We've, we've, uh, Irish people love their dogs. Um, we actually think that Ireland should be a bit friendlier. In public places, we have a campaign called Dog Friendly Ireland. Okay. Uh, because look, look around, there's people here with their dogs. People love going to a place with their dogs. So we would love to see, you know, lots of places embrace that, like cafes and workplaces that are suitable, obviously. Um, and also landlords as well, you know, if you're renting property, you know, a lot of landlords don't let you have a dog. We think that's wrong. So that's part of Dog Friendly Ireland campaign. Uh, and as well as that, a lot of people got dogs during uh, the break that we took for two years. And then uh, they seemed to go back to work and then there was a lot of dogs left. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say abandoned, but the, their owners had to go back to work. So there was a big sort of gap made for the dogs. Like, Yeah, yeah. I mean, our motto, I'm sure you've heard of it, dog is for life. Correct and right, yeah. Yeah, yeah not just for Christmas. Yeah. So um, a big part of our thing is when you're getting a dog, um, you need to make sure this is a long term. Dogs live, you know, potentially 15, 16 years. So we believe that if you're getting a dog, you need to do the research, make sure it's the right dog for you. Um, so when you get a dog, the great thing about rescuing a dog is that you're not just picking a dog based on you know how pretty it is. You're going to get an assessment. We're going to match you to the right dog to make sure that this is the right dog for you and your family. So that's why you do the rescue. And what type of dog have you got? I have a nurture. A nurture. A, yeah, yeah, wow. She's a very cool dog altogether. <laughs> Where did you get the nurture from? She's rescued. She's Whoa. rescued, not from dogs just before my time here, but she, I actually, I'm an education officer. So for years, Magic is her name. Magic would come with me to schools, to libraries, um, but she's 13 now. She's an old lady, so she's retired. At the average age of a dog living, you've you passed the 10 there, isn't that right? Or is it is it longer? Uh, I guess it's been like little dogs. Have, have good life, uh, you know, you can expect them to live good long, up to 16, even 17. I guess it depends, and then you never know, you know, you know, things can happen. Um, I think the important thing is that you give them the best life possible for the time they have. A lot of mixed breeds are coming in now as well. Everyone can nearly tell you the different type of breeds that they have on their dogs. And, and then you look at the dog and go, yeah, I can see it, I can see it. That seems to be a very popular thing at the moment, uh, mix, mixing breeds. You mean like a Cabochon or a Cockatoo? Yeah. So you don't see too many of them in dogs, does <laughs> Really? You're all pure, you're pure breed dogs. You only do no, pure no. breeds. We don't, I mean, as in, we don't really know what they are. Right, um, yeah. Can you tell me what yeah, you are, dog? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a, there's a joke where people say, oh, it's a Cabochon and someone else says a Mungo. Yeah, 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 oh, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah well, I mean, we're, I mean, obviously, we all love our breeds. We all have special places in our heart. But a big part of our ethos is that, you know, treat the dogs as an individual. That's a dog based on its individual behaviour, you know, so nothing turns any particular breed that I mean. A very important thing about a dog is a dog, I say, for life and all that. But the other thing is a uh, companion, because the dog does not say no. I mean, and the training of the dog then is another thing. But uh, the companionship of a dog is, is so important, especially the way things have gone in, in our in our culture more than anything else. So people are really making a, an effort to sort of, they're all talking to their dogs, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, we actually have a workshop that we do in different communities. And, um, Anyone who you know, we so wellness workshops. Right. It's all about um, how dogs are so good for our mental health, and, and vice versa. We are very important to them as yeah. well, and it's just a, it's a beautiful symbiotic relationship that goes back thousands of years, you know, back to caveman times, really. So it's a really beautiful thing. And you call your dog once again, Magic. There you are, it's Magic from the Man. Thank you very much.